Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya. What's up everyone and welcome back to Peter Kensi Gaming Channel or Gaming Corner. On this video, we'll be playing War Robots with a controller. If you are new here to the channel, please click the subscribe button to help us grow the Peter Kenzi community. Let's start. Like what I said earlier, we'll be playing War Robots with a controller and on this video, we'll be playing with our favorite Fly DG Apex wireless controller. This is one of my favorite controllers in the market right now because of its console-like feature and its ergonomic. I do play on Xbox One, that's why I'm very accustomed to the Xbox controller. Okay, let's start with the button mapping for the Fly DG Apex wireless controller. The button mapping is pretty basic and I use most of the basic buttons and controls. The left and right sticks are assigned for movement and aiming while keypads are for the different skills or ammunition. I added M1 on extended keys, a scap button on from the bottom of your um, controller and I ass assigned it to the jump button and that's pretty much it. If I'm going to make an improvement on my button configuration, maybe instead of using the A and B button, I can use my left and right triggers. The reason is it's pretty tough to press the button keypads like A and B with your right hand occupied while aiming. You can pause the video if you want to copy my button mapping setup. In this video, I'm using my Samsung S20 Ultra along with my Fly DG controller and everything is working great. See also that I left the button mapping on the screen for you to see how I use and how I mapped it. Here are my feedbacks using the Fly DG controller on War Robots. First, the controller really works great and I don't see any issue or lag even after setting it up. Second, the aiming is also smooth and pretty accurate. The next is the controller has many buttons to choose from and you can optimize it with so many combinations. There are so many keys that you can assign like for example directional keys which I didn't use or assign anywhere else. Okay, so the controller works but one thing we need to answer first, do we really need a controller for this game? For me, the answer is yes. War Robots offer so many buttons to tap and using a controller will surely improve your gameplay. We will not talk about the legality of using a controller because there are so many discussions about it in so many forums. The actual game mechanics are pretty basic, like you don't need to pinpoint accurately when shooting and aim assist helps you a lot so much that you only need the right and left perspective. In the next couple of seconds, I will include my full gameplay using Fly DG Apex and you can see how good is this controller on War Robots. Aside from War Robots, I tried very the same wireless controller on many other games. For example, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, Fortnite, and a lot more. Meaning, getting this controller will not only help you win on playing War Robots, but other games as well. I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to click the subscribe button for more video like this.